What's not to like? Custard? Good. Jam? Good. Meat? Good. See if your favorite food, which disappeared for no good reason, is one of the 20 greatest discontinued foods of all time. Oreo Sippers <laughs> Oreo Sippers were small straws made out of chocolate cookies laced with a thin inner layer of cream. You were supposed to sip your milk through the straw. The cookie flavor would, of course, blend into the taste of the milk and sweeten it with each sip. Then your straw, which had become almost cake-like, could be sweetly eaten afterwards. Of course, you could just munch on them straight out of the box. Oreo sippers spent several years on the market, but in 2012, Oreo suddenly discontinued the straws and never even considered bringing them back. Why? Well, no reason was ever given. Rolled Gold Honey Mustard Tiny Twist Pretzels If I remember correctly, you're a big pretzel fan. <laughs> These were savory, flavored pretzels completely unique in their conception. Frito-Lay rolled these out to the public, let consumers develop a love affair with them, and then cruelly and silently took the rolled gold honey mustard tiny twist pretzels off of shelves. Instead, perhaps as a peace offering or perhaps as a consolation prize, Frito-Lay replaced the honey mustard flavor with a cheddar flavor variety. However, fans of the honey mustard flavor were not impressed or amused. Many people attempted to come up with recipes that would replicate the honey mustard flavoring, but none could come close to the real deal. Banana Nut Cheerios Oh my god, look at this. If you wake up to find your favorite cereal not only missing from the cupboard but also from the grocery store, it can be disheartening. Cheerios fans loved the banana nut flavor variety, but for some reason, these delicious nuggets are no longer being produced. In 2016, a tweeter tweeted at Cheerios trying to get an answer as to why they could not find the banana nut flavored Cheerios anywhere. Cheerios responded to the tweet and confirmed that indeed they had been discontinued. They also apologized for the inconvenience of having had them removed, but unfortunately did not offer any reason as to why. The flavor had originated in 2009, but was then discontinued in 2015. There was a short reappearance of the banana nut flavor cereal in 2017, but as we know, the resurgence did not last long. Trix Yogurt You think I'm a fussy eater? Well, it's a power play. When Trix yogurt appeared on the scene, people immediately loved it. The combination of sweet and crunchy Trix cereal with the tart and creamy and cold yogurt was a winning combination right from the get-go. But then the cereal-based yogurt suddenly vanished from grocery store refrigerators. Out of thin air, however, they've now miraculously returned. However, much to the chagrin of its OG fans, the recipe is a smidge different this time around. Apparently, the flavors are a little less bold. Instead of raspberry rainbow, now there's straight up berry. But because people are nostalgic, the return, of course, is very welcome. Dunkaroos. Cha cha, want a cookie? Num num cookie? If your favorite cookie disappears, you feel let down. But if it reappears, you are immediately excited about it. That is, until the returned item is not the exact same as the version you've been pining over. Technically, you can buy Dunkaroos now because they were re-released in 2020. However, they are not the same Dunkaroos they used to make in the 90s. The icing is now made with less sugar, and the cookies, which are advertised as new and improved, have been referred to as thin and crumbly by several consumers. If you are tempted to try them again, just be prepared because you might be left disappointed by the new yet unimproved Dunkaroos. Oreo Cakesters Oreo Cakesters could be described as a whoopie pie meeting up with Oreo cookie flavoring. They were released in 2007 and were treasured by Oreo cookie lovers, but unfortunately, they were quickly pulled off of the shelves in 2010. No one can figure out why they disappeared, as they were actually very tasty and they seem to have quite a following. Apparently, there is talk of them returning to shelves again, along with Nutter Butter Cakesters. So cross your fingers that this possible return actually comes true. 
Kudos. It's my candy bar, and I'll do what I want with it. When kudos were originally brought around, they were available in three flavors – peanut butter kudos, fudge kudos, and chocolate chip kudos. But kudos were rebranded in 2011, and the company used Mars candies like M&M's, Snickers, and Dove chocolate to add to the kudos line. Originally, kudos had been targeted as breakfast bars, but once the company added all the candies and chocolate, people started to clue in to the fact that they were more like candy bars with granola than breakfast bars per se. In the end, this was the downfall of Kudos. Yogos. So many snacks, so little time. Yogos were yogurt-covered fruit snacks. They came into the world in 2005 and were truly an amazing snack to find in your school lunchbox. But in 2010, they suddenly disappeared off the shelves. It seems that in 2010, companies were trying really hard to bring in new, healthier snacks. People were starting to take notice of ingredient lists and the benefits of healthier snacks. It seems the yogurt-covered fruit snacks, while sounding healthy, were rampant with sugar, resulting in the yogurty snacks' demise. Various Assorted Doritos Flavors What is that? There are many assorted flavors of Doritos. Sour cream and onion-flavored Doritos came into our lives, and then they were gone. Then they were brought back. Oh, joy! But then again, they were gone. Flavor collisions Doritos, combos of different flavors, all disappeared off of the shelves as well. The reason for this might have been the cost of placing two different flavored Doritos in the same bag. No one knows for sure. In the UK, some select flavors are still available, which have been discontinued in the US. On Facebook, a fan of 3D Doritos reached out to the Frito-Lay company to ask about the missing 3D Doritos from store shelves. Frito-Lay answered with a response which said that while their snacks have passionate followings, not all of them actually make it onto the favorites list. A lot of people were completely enamored with the cheesy, crunchy, and puffy snacks. They say they have brought them back, and they have rebranded them as Doritos 3D Crunch, but the truth is, as true 3D Dorito fans have noticed, the flavor is horrible, and the chips actually taste more like bugles. True fans are not impressed. Pudding Pops You want the red or the blue, pal? Jell-O pudding pops were extremely popular in the 80s, and they became even more popular in the early 90s. But eventually, popularity waned, and the pudding pop money train stopped rolling in for General Foods. Eventually, General Foods licensed the Jell-O brand to Popsicle, and Popsicle came up with their own recipe for a pudding pop. Unfortunately, the ones they came up with were not the same as the originals, and a big seller they were not. Eventually, pudding pops were pulled out of the freezer section forever. Kraft Heinz has a do-it-yourself recipe on their website for the diehards who just can't bear to go without. Nerd Cereal Bravo! Well done! Aren't they delightful? In 1983, the Willy Wonka Candy Factory manufactured Nerds, and they were extremely successful. Two years later, Wonka teamed up with Ralston to produce Nerds cereal. It came in two flavors, orange and cherry and grape and strawberry. Sadly, the Fruity Puff cereal did not manage to survive past the late 1980s. Maybe sugar shock before school was not a great idea? Squeeze it. Good. No. Squeeze-Its was yet another one of those fruit drinks which came in kid-approved plastic bottles. It was truly one of the best-tasting ones. They were really popular for a while, but then their sales started dwindling. No one could figure out exactly why sales were not very good. It might have had something to do with the fact that people started paying more attention to kids' foods that were packed with a lot of artificial flavors and colors. This was also around the time when giving kids less sugar and healthier snacks became more of a concern. Beer Chasers Crackers <laughs> Once upon a time in a land far away, there was a cracker with the name Beer Chasers. They came in a brown box with a white edge, and they were delicious. They were distributed by Educator Biscuit Company in Massachusetts. 
They were almost yellow in color, and they were almost square in shape, with curves around their edges. Educator Biscuit Co. was bought by Nabisco in 1980, and beer chasers were then made under the Nabisco moniker for a few more years. But then they were dropped. The crackers were amazing alone or loaded up with cheese. Nature Valley Three-Layer Bar Almond Butter Chocolate Good afternoon, sir. Could we interest you in some chocolate? Nature Valley granola bars make their way into lunch bags, serve as late-night snacks, and find themselves in hikers' backpacks. One of the flavors that came onto the market was the Nature Valley Almond Butter Chocolate Three-Layer Bar, which was a really delicious combination of nutrition and deliciousness. However, according to Nature Valley's Twitter account, the Almond Butter Chocolate Three-Layer flavor was discontinued. No reason was given. Of course, there are still so many Nature Valley bars made with mixes of fruit and chocolate and nuts. But for those who love that one flavor, which was kind of close to a candy bar, the other flavors just don't quite quench the same desires. Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Eggo Waffles Karen, Karen, you gotta try this. For many years, Kellogg's Eggo Waffles have been a family favorite at breakfast time. They can be found as a staple in most freezers in the U.S. The company continues to make frozen waffles, pancakes, and French toast in a host of flavors. However, this year, they decided that their Nutri-Grain waffles, the ones made with whole wheat, would be discontinued. Ego tweeted on their Twitter account that the Nutri-Grain waffles plainly did not have enough fans. They did keep the whole grain blueberry option of their sick and fluffy waffles for people looking for a similar choice. Otherwise, the other flavors are made from white wheat and are full of sugar. Flintstones push-ups. One, two, Flintstones push-ups were frozen treats that came in bedrock-themed flavors. The icy fruit treats were typical push-up popsicles. The difference was the cartoon Flintstone characters adorning the ice pops wrapping. While you can still find push-ups in the stores, they are no longer branded with the Flintstones name. Ritz Bit S'mores mm. The strange thing about Ritz Bits s'mores no longer being on store shelves is that Ritz Bits cheddar and Ritz Bits peanut butter continue to be found everywhere. The s'mores version was considered by many to be the greatest flavor of all. Eventually, the brand went on the record via Twitter in 2016 to announce that the Ritz Bits s'mores have been officially discontinued. Rice Krispies Treat Cereal I'd like to ask a few questions about this breakfast cereal. Ah, uh, yeah. This cereal was delicious while it lasted. While it was discontinued, it then made a comeback, but with a different formula, which is never great for diehard fans. Eventually, it was discontinued again, this time for good. Kellogg's actually went on Twitter to confirm the news in 2020. Sometimes fans post that they have found boxes sporadically in their local Walmart stores. If you truly miss the Rice Krispies Treat cereal and you also like treasure hunts, then perhaps this this type of search is for you. Pizzeria's Pizza Chips Pizza time. When Pizzeria's Chips first came out, Keebler described them as the most successful savory snack debut in their history. And so, it's a mystery why they suddenly disappeared. We may never know what happened. They were zesty and crunchy pizza-flavored chips and considered very delicious by consumers who were big fans. The interesting thing is that they were discontinued around the time Kellogg's acquired Keebler. Hmm. Philadelphia Cheesecake Snack Bars Wow, oh my god, so creamy! Oh. These snack bars disappeared, and people banded together to bring them back. There are approximately 40,000 signatures on an online petition to bring the Philadelphia Cheesecake Snack Bars back. While there's been no word yet on the petition's effectiveness, based on the sheer number of signatures alone, this is definitely one of the greatest discontinued snacks of all time. Let's hope it doesn't have to stay that way.